So hi everyone and a very good evening to all of you. Welcome back once again to the channel. So what is PIB? Why is it important and how to cover it? So today in this video, I'm going to answer all these questions and the major focus will be on how to cover PIB. All right. So let's start the video without any delay and let's talk about what is PIB. PIB guys is the Press Information Bureau. It is the official website of the government of India for its press releases. All the ministry provides all the information, all the releases on the Press Information Bureau. The releases are provided ministry wise. All right. That is PIB. Now, why is it important for RBI and NABARD examination? Remember, if I talk about RBI grade B examination. So in phase one, 80 questions are asked. And out of those 80 questions, around 15 to 20 questions are asked from the PIB. And that's why you you can understand that how much important the PIB is not only in phase one, the ESI paper of phase two completely consists of the questions from PIB and the government schemes. And not only this PIB also covers certain part of the government schemes as well. For example, the schemes in news are covered through the PIB. All right. So in both the phases of uh, RBI grade B examination, the importance of PIB is very much. Talking about the VAT grade A, we have in phase one ESI paper. And this year, in the year 2023, last year, there were 35 questions out of 40 from the PIB in phase one. And same goes for phase two. In phase two, we have another paper of ESI where the importance of PIB is very much. So I hope the importance of PIB is clear. Out of 80 questions, 20 questions are coming from one source and even more than that, right? And you know, looking at the difficulty level of the examination, if you are able to attempt those 20 questions correctly, then your cutoff will be cleared. And obviously, there is a need of attempting other questions from other sources as well. In ESI phase 2, the entire paper consists of the questions from PIB, including government schemes. So don't you think that PIB is the indispensable source if you want to clear both of these examinations? Isn't it? Right. Now let's come to the major focus point of today's video and that is how to cover PIB. Devo, <clears throat> I'm here to tell you how to cover it because some people were asking that uh, how we can uh, go to the, how we can go through the website of PIB. That's why I'm here. How I do it for you, right? How I prepare the content for you guys so that I, so, so, so I can take the classes, right? Vese to, if I talk about the need of going through the PIB website, so there is no need because I am doing it for you and I am providing you the required content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5 p.m. on our YouTube channel. But still, if you want to visit it, let me show you how you can do it. All right. So behind me is the PIB website. I hope you can see the PIB website, right? Now you have to go to this more plus tab. I hope it is visible. More plus tab pe aap logo ko jana hai, right? And then here you need to select the date. Let's say for example, 18 tarikh hum date select karte because on 18th there were certain uh, important news and uh, you know significant news tha. Uske baad se to Ram uh, uh, Pratishthan, Pran Pratishthan ki tayari mein thi sarkar. So there are not enough uh, relevant news. Hai? So I hope you can see here. So first in every PIB release, there is a release from President Secretariat which is uh, which are, which is, you know, which is not much important for the examination. For example, here you can see president of India interacts with leading women startups and unicorns. No need to go through it. Again, same goes for the vice president secretariat, but here you need to focus that if there is any, if there is something important. For example, if I see here text of the vice president's address at the presentation of scope awards. So you, you must have that curiosity that, okay, what are these scope awards? Let's, let's read it here. So in this particular uh, <clears throat> release, there is nothing much, uh, you know, about the scope awards. So this is nothing but a speech of the vice president. So that's not important. Or here you can see it is the text of the vice president's address, right? So this is not important for us. You can quickly ignore it. Again, same goes with the prime minister's office. With the PMO releases, you have to do the same thing. You need to just read the headings and you have to Analyze whether I have to even open it or not. For example, PM condoles death, not required. PM to visit multiple temples, not required. PM interacts with the beneficiaries of Vixit Bharat Sankalp Yatra, not important. 
English rendering of the speech, not important. PM post, six commemorative postage stamps dedicated to Sri Ram Janmabhumi temple, not at all required. Okay. You are Modi of your village, not at all required. Similarly, you have to go through the headings of the PMO releases without even opening it. You can easily identify that which is important for you and which is not. And remember one thing, we are talking about economic and social issues. Okay. We are talking about for we are referring PIB for current affairs of economic and social issues. So you need to be focused that okay, this ministry directly relates to the economic and social issues. For example, the major ministry that you have to put your focus on Ministry of Finance, Agriculture, Rural Development and Panchayati Raj, Social Development, uh, Social Justice and Empowerment, Women and Child Development, MSME, Food Processing Industry, Ministry of Cooperation, etc. And I have told you before many times about how to cover ESI videos. Right? So, I didn't get anything in the PMO. Mein kuch mila. Now, let's, next is the Cabinet. In Cabinet, in cabinet section, there are certain approvals which are given by the cabinet that you have to cover, right? So here you can see cabinet approves. These are all the memorandum of understanding, right? These are all what? Memorandum of, of understanding, MOU or MOIs. Now, MOU, I have explained this a lot of time. In MOU, what you have to do is between which country or among which countries the MOU has been signed and what is the objective of that particular MOU. For example, if I open this number one, India and Netherlands, India and Netherlands on cooperation in the field of medical products regulation. The question will be coming from this only that with which country India has signed an MOU in the field of medical products regulation. The answer would be Netherlands, right? But you have to quickly go through the news, the release that whether any data is provided by the government or not. For example, the union cabinet chaired by PM Modi was apprised of this MOI signed between CDSTO, yes, this is an important fact that you should remember that this MOU has been signed between Government of India and from India's side it was CDSO which signed the MOU, that's it. And you have to look for any number, if any number is given, like for example the target year of MOU for how many years the MOU has been signed. So you can see there is no number, so I will quickly uh, cancel it and will quickly move to the another news, okay. So that is how you can cover the MOU part. Then cabinet committee on economic affairs, you need to see which approval has been given. So cabinet approves equity investment by Southeastern Coal Fields Limited for setting up of 1 into 66 watt, 660 megawatt thermal power plant. So this is too much technical, right? Because the number of questions in ESI paper and in phase 1 GA are limited obviously. So you need to think like an examiner that if you are an examiner, are you going to ask this question about equity investment by this? Some random company, obviously not, right? We need to do the smart study as well. Election commission wali cheez aapko nahi padni hai. Yes, Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, very, very important. And you can see the news, third advance estimate. You have to do it, you have to open it. Now, chota sa hai bilkul, aapko sab kuj ek ek shabd nahi padna hai. Thik hai, dego. The estimation of total horticulture production is this. This is important, which was... Uh, you know, there was there is an increase of 2.32%. Yes, you have to do it. Jo pichle saal ka tha, that is 8.07 million tons. Zada hua hai, kitna zada hua hai, that is not important. But percentage you should remember. Thik hai? Iske baad sirf inho ne baate kari hai. Phir numbers pe aao. when we are talking about estimates. So we need to look for the numbers only. Right? Ab yaan pe inho ne sirf baate kari hai. These baate are not important. For example, yes, this is the number. Food production is estimated to increase to this. Right, second data from 107.51 million that is not required. Okay, you need to remember the current data production of vegetables, okay, production of plantation crops, right, and potato production, and tomato production, okay, bus itna uthaya or khatam kara. Baki tables wagera apko karne is not nahi hai because these are the comparison, these comparisons keep on coming, okay. So basically, you have done what you have release in SE When you know that is, this is an estimate, the numbers must be important. So you, look, you have to look for the numbers, right? Because if you keep on reading uh, the PIB releases word to word, you might not be able to cover the entire day's news in the entire day. You will not be able to finish the whole day. I can guarantee you that. Okay? Because when I started reading the PIB, it took me, initially it took me 4 to 5 hours to complete a day's news. 
but today I can do it in only one and a half hour, right? All right, next news is government has uh, taken a large number of measures to ensure welfare of farmers. Now here, you have to look to these, you know, these are big, big, these capitals mein words likhe, in ke oopar dekho, numbers ke oopar dekho, right? For example, is wali news mein mein aapko pehle se bata dun that there is nothing significant, theek hai? All the numbers are there which are not relevant, theek hai? Ab jaise for example, PM Fasal Bima Yojana was launched in 2016 and in past seven years of implementation, 49.44 crore farmers application enrolled and over 14.06 crore farmers have received claims or over this. These are very, you know, very deep numbers. These are not important for the examination. So you need to know uh, what type of question can be asked and how you can do it. For that, you need to thoroughly go to go through the previous year paper. Okay, I hope it is clear. In addition, about 40 crore amount has been surrendered as mentioned earlier. This is not important. Again, there are no numbers. RKBY ki baat kariye yaha pe isko padh lete hai. RKBY and Krishonnati Yojana are implemented by the state governments. Nothing relevant, right? Okay, yeah. The budget allocation for Department of Agriculture and Cooperation has increased manifold. It was this much crore in 2013-14 and went up to this. This is an important fact. However, the number will not be asked because the number is quite, you know, difficult to remember. Okay, examiner bhi insaan hai, wo bhi dekh ke hi uh, question pushta hai. Right. Now let's talk about some other, another ministry. Just that you will understand. The defense ministry you don't need to read. You need to ignore the defense ministry. Electronics and IT maybe if there is something important, if there is any scheme that has been launched that you have to do. Otherwise, if there is anything technical, you have to ignore it. Now these MOU wale hain. Dono cheeze to MOU wale already humne yahan pe cabinet mein cover kar liye honge. Right? Because they they you know repeat this thing. For example, they have given all the memorandum of understanding MOUs under the subheading of cabinet. So they will again give under the respective ministries heading. For example, here they have given ministry of, uh, they have given under the ministry of electronics and IT. The same MOU that they have mentioned above. Environment, forest and climate change. Not much important, but yes, because it's social issues. Climate change is a social issue. Commission for Air Quality Management in NCR and joining area revokes stage 3 of graph. Now this is something which is too much technical, so you can ignore it. Cabinet approves creation of post for the 16th Finance Commission. 16th Finance Commission is important, but creation of post is not important for us. Right? Again, you can see under the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, they have just repeated those MOUs, right? So you can ignore it. Three days, Smart Cities India Expo being held in New Delhi. So such expos are important, but only if there is something relevant. For example, in this particular news, there was nothing relevant. Relevant. It was just an expo that was conducted by the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. That's it to show the smart cities mission achievements. And I haven't taken this in my video because, because I have already taught the smart cities mission achievements a lot of time. And in future, I will be doing it again. So that's why right now I haven't taken it. I will be taking it near the examination okay that will be relevant for you and this also you have to keep in mind if you yourself will make the notes of pib because during the parliamentary session what they do is they keep on providing the same releases again and again for example in the previous winter parliamentary session let's say they have provided anything about pm kisan so in the next session they will just copy paste it so you need to keep in mind that there is no repetition okay Law and justice aapko karne ki zarurat nahi hai. Yes. Ye dekho yaan pe new and renewable energy is important. Social issue. IODDA and Indian Overseas Bank join hands in co-lending. Ab isko ar aap khol ke dekho ke toh bhoat lamba hai. But the important news is this only that which with which bank IREDA has collaborated for co-lending. So the answer is Indian Overseas Bank. Thik hai na? Baaki agar aap isko dekho ke jaldi se. Kuch nye sirf baate kari hui hai na badi badi. एक तो याद रखना पीआईबी में बहुत बड़ी बड़ी बातें भी आती हैं सो दो बड़ी बड़ी बातें आर नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस ठीक है टू दी एमओयू एंड प्रायर एग्रीमेंट्स विद अदर लीडिंग फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन आईआरईडीए इज वेल पोजीशन टू फंड लार्ज स्केल रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी प्रोजेक्ट्स सो एज आई टोल्ड यू बड़ी बड़ी बातें ठीक है ना व्हाट इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस इन दिस पर्टिकुलर न्यूज़ इज हाउ आईआरईडीए विद व्हिच बैंक आईआरईडीए हैज साइंड दिस एग्रीमेंट ठीक है Ministry of Personal 
पब्लिक ग्रीवांसेस एंड पेंशन बिफोर गोइंग इनसाइड द न्यूज यू नीड टू रीड द हेडिंग प्रॉपरली ठीक है कि हेडिंग क्या है देखो ये प्राण प्रतिष्ठान का है कुछ नहीं हो सकता इसमें विकसित भारत संकल्प यात्रा हैज रेज एक्सपिरेशन एंड स्टीम इन कॉमन सिटीजन एंड ब्रॉट अबाउट चेंज इन द वर्क कल्चर नथिंग सिग्निफिकेंट इफ देर इज एनी रिवॉर्ड इज एनी अवार्ड बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ पर्सनल पब्लिक रिवांसिस एंड पेंशन दैट कैन बी कवर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ पावर आर ई सी मीन आईसीआई अवार्ड यू मस्ट बी यू मस्ट रिमेंबर दिस दैट आई हैव कवर्ड इट ठीक है तो उसमें वाली न्यूज में सिर्फ यही है दैट आर ई सी लिमिटेड को ही अवार्ड मिला उसके बाद इन्होंने सिर्फ ये देखो डायरेक्टर ये सब यहाँ पे प्रेजेंट थे ठीक है ये बताया है श्री अजय चौधरी एक्सप्रेस ग्रेटिट्यूड तो उनका ग्रेटिट्यूड है ये इसके बाद आईसीएआई के बारे में बताया है एंड अबाउट आरईसी लिमिटेड बताया दैट्स इट तो व्हाट इज रेलेवेंट फॉर आस इन दिस पर्टिकुलर न्यूज इज दिस हेडिंग ओनली दैट आरईसी वेंस आईसीएआई अवार्ड फॉर एक्सीलेंस इन फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग फॉर फाइनेंशियल ईयर 22-23 ठीक है जी आई होप इट इज क्लियर साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी में आपको ज्यादा कुछ नहीं देखना है बस यू नीड टू गो थ्रू द हेडिंग्स जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल विज्ञानिका 2023 सो यू नीड टू जस्ट नो व्हाट इज विज्ञानिका नॉट टू टेक्निकल फॉर एग्जांपल हियर इट इज कैम राइट कैम व्हाट इज इट यू नीड टू नो थ्रू यू नीड टू गो थ्रू इट जस्ट व्हाट इज कैम दैट्स इट नथिंग टेक्निकल इन टेक्सटाइल में यहां पे इन्होंने लिखा है दैट 11 प्रोजेक्ट्स हैव बीन अप्रूव्ड सो प्रोजेक्ट अगर कोई अप्रूव होता है अंडर एनी पर्टिकुलर स्कीम दैट इज नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस ऑलराइट so this is how guys you have to cover the pib i hope it is clear now if you find this task very tedious and very difficult don't worry i am here for you i am doing this much task for you guys and presenting giving you the entire content of pib in three classes a week monday wednesday friday at 5 pm so if you want to do the hard work you are most welcome aap kar sakte ho koi mana nahi kar raha aapse but but If you don't want to do it, अगर आपको खाना बिल्कुल परोसा हुआ चाहिए I am here. On Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I give you that content which is required for RBI Grade B. You might not be able to identify that which news is important for your exam and which news is not. But since I have a lot of experience in this examination, in both the examination RBI and NABARD, so I am doing it for you. So why not uh, take that advantage? all right guys so that's all that i wanted to discuss today i hope the message is clear i hope you have learned something from it thank you very much for watching goodbye take care and god bless